different, Tony. You took our shoes. Really good pronunciation. Oh, am I? Yeah. I got it right? Oh gosh, never again. <laughs> so we just finished eating and that restaurant was so good. Um, I'll leave a link uh, somewhere for that restaurant um, if you want more details on that. Right now we are going over to Terminal, which is my all-time favorite mall. And then afterwards, Tony has just observed a spa day for us at Healthland. I mean, it's not a spa day, just, just a two-hour <laughs> massage. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I have to maintain your expectation a little bit. We'll film terminal and show you guys around. It's a very cool mall. Yeah. Like every floor has a different concept. It's kind of like an airport concept. Yes. Where every mall is like you at a different place in the world. Like you know, one floor could be in Japan. One floor could be you in Istanbul. Uh huh. In France, and they can have like a whole theme decoration for each floor. Yes. Very cool. Yes. Anyway, it's kind of loud. We're gonna go into the MRT now. So this way. So now we're gonna take the coin back. Okay, you just slip it into this slot here. And then the store opens and then you're free to go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so scared. The escalators here are very fast. Let's just go start from the main floor. So it's like a Caribbean feel, so I guess it's a very uh, colorful. Yeah, colorful. Downstairs, it's like a parking. I think that's where you find pine pie face last time. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know. I don't know if it's still alive though after COVID, you know. Yeah. Oh no, I really wanted to try it. And... That's what you said, and then you find it. Like, oh no, I don't want to eat it anymore. <laughs> Wait, they don't know. I really wanted to try it. Oh no, I lost my chance. Like a supermarket. Yeah. No, I think it's okay. young it's like we sell that too but it's like a lot smaller pieces i think apparently it become like really popular now hi everyone notice that 85 percent of you haven't subscribed please consider clicking the thumbs up button comment and subscribe for new content we'd really appreciate it now back to the vlog Pudo, ramen place there's some really popular ramen place oh, the salmon. No, it's good. Until your pie face is gone. No. <laughs> Amazing acting. Store. Yeah. We went here last time, yeah. I remember I bought a yoga book. A yep. yoga instructional book. Never touched it. Is that actually the main entrance where we went to first? Yep, this is the connect the one connecting to the sky train. Yeah. You know what floor I'm very I'm looking forward to the most? What is it? Japanese one. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that, that one is cool. Yeah. They got all the clothing and everything. I can see they try to do like uh, all this like, you know, obviously it's not like authentic, but they try to give me like a Rome feel. Screens, like a parchment. Oh, yeah, it's, Look at the seating too, pillars. Yeah. It's kind of crazy because you went to like a Icon Sayam, which is like humongous. Uh -huh. So this one, even though this one is huge, it feels so much smaller. <laughs> Hello. 
This one right straight into H&M. I'm gonna see what floor this is. It's Paris. Is it? Oh, it's just like a decoration. Don't you think that has a Paris feel? I think so, yeah. If you can feel it, they're doing a good job. Like, look at all the decor. Yeah, it looks very Parisy. I'm a two person in there, I mean, in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Frenchy, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Tokyo's next one. What a time to be alive. I wonder if it, each floor has a, a different music based on like the country that they... Maybe. I'm not sure. I never noticed it actually. Yeah. Yeah, this, this was the area that has like an event last time, I think. It was like a fashion walkthrough. A fashion show, yes. Fashion yes, yes, show, yes. yeah. And then the very next day, it was completely gone and something else was here. Favorite floor? They have a lot of cute clothes and like good souvenir. And I love their clothes. Yeah, it's cool. I think this is an ostrich feather. Ha <laughs> ha! No. kind of cool, huh? They have such unique fashion. I like this place because of uh, you know, when you go to MBK, uh -huh. every store kind of selling like the same thing. You want some? Uh, I can't. I can't wear it to Canada. No. Not with that attitude. I remember we came here and there was one store that had designs from an artist that you would, like really yeah, and like. Yeah, like a like, t-shirt versions of it. Yep, I love it. Yeah. Like his arts are very like sarcastic. I like it so much. <laughs> very, very really relatable art. Yes. I'm hoping that it's still here. Yeah, I hope so too. Because of uh on the show they bought back then, I gained weight. So now I can wear it anymore. <laughs> so now Linda wears it. Yeah! There also used to be like a this used watch store here that that I saw last like a last 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 time that I was here. <laughs> last, last, last. They have some really good deal that I, that, I, that I wish I bought. Need some bras? Yeah, eventually. Need, need some bra, bra? <laughs> yes, I do need some bra. bra. I think we did most of the shops right now. I think about it. a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of them here for sure. One done next. I think at the very top is like the food area. Is it Pier 21? I forgot the name of it, but basically locally, local street food area that's really popular and they kind of asked them to come to the food court. Mm -hmm. So you kind of get like a one-stop shop for all the famous street food. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And I think it's the biggest food court in um, in Bangkok right now. Oh, is it? I oh. think so. Last time that's what I was told. It's unmatched in terms of how many variety there is. Yeah. A lot of toys, cards, games. It's like a board game place. Cool. We had a coffee here a few years ago, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. We should grab here, just for nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, we'll come back here and try it out. Card game store, very cool. And like how it goes, you know? Yeah. Not too, like, I feel like the short store used to be here. Maybe it's gone. Oh. <laughs> the artist one. This one? I don't know. In that area, I, I hope I'm wrong. The short store looks good, not, not, too, uh, not, not too wild. Because in MBK, a lot of the shirts nowadays are like a fake brand name, which I don't want to wear. Yeah, Linda is more about like the, the real brand name stuff, like the Chanel Gucci. No, not even. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Let's guess what this one is. You wanna guess? Thailand? Persia? Wrong, it's Terminal 21. That's the joke. Bunch of crocodile leather shop. I think it was some souvenir from here last time. What did we buy? A wallet? Yeah, like a mini wallet. San Francisco. No, departure for Paris, like down there is Paris. So I think it's like not, nothing for this one. I, mean, I don't know, there's like a tents and stuff, so. A lot of like um, souvenir places here. Jewelry, sunglasses, bags. Tony and I are gonna grab a drink. We're quite thirsty. I know that there was this coffee shop that we went to last time. We might go there, we might not, I'm not quite sure. So Linda is on some kind of like a mini quest. Whenever you see Thai iced tea, she's like, nope, we're having it. Yes. So we're gonna, I think by the end of this trip, we'll be. Uh, Thai iced tea out. <laughs> we were gonna go to the cafe Amazon downstairs. Like we were like escalating down, and then she sees. You see this? I just want to try all, all the Thai iced teas from different areas. Like cafe Amazon, we tried. Seven Eleven, we tried. And I think we went to another dessert place that had a Thai iced tea. One in the, I must say, it was really good. That one, that one was the best. It's quite busy. When he's looking at the menu. So we got a Thai iced tea and yes. a latte. Iced. Actually, the price pretty reasonable. This has come out to like a, a dollar or something. So Tony has the I drinks. And a straw. Thank God for a plastic straw. <laughs> oh, I know. So I, mean, I love environment and all, but paper straws are just. Uh, I think these are all like biodegradable plastic straw too. The cup here is just so good, like they're like very sturdy. Yes, quite sturdy. Just be careful. You need to drink it slowly, okay? So that the ice. Latte is good, right? Okay, sure. 
Mmm. Wow, is there condensed milk in here? I'm gonna try the Thai iced tea. Oh my gosh, I, I shouldn't have tried that first before this. Yep. Nom, nom. <laughs> it's very light compared to... Okay, but this okay. is good. But is it as good as the one at Icon Sam? No. Okay, the Icon Sam one is like probably like five times the price. <laughs> I know, I know. Mmm. Really good. Sorry, how big? Oh. I told you to slow down! <laughs> slow down! <laughs> Okay, you guys, we're just gonna go um, around, uh, probably go over to Pier 21 and just show you guys around there. Let me tell before you finish recording this. Yeah. Bruh. So, we're at Pier 21 right now, right over there. <laughs> so, basically, I've been told that this is the biggest food court in all of Bangkok. Yeah. Basically, according to this guy. <laughs> So anyhow, um, Tony mentioned that they have all the famous street food um, would come over here and they would put it into like a food court kind of setting. And they have all the staple like Thai dishes that you can ever want. And the food court system here is uh, you don't pay with cash. You have to go to the center and then uh, exchange a coupon or it could be like a gift card and then you can use that to purchase the food in the food court. Mm -hmm. Once it's done, you can get money back for whatever you have left. It's a very common system in Bangkok food court. So this whole thing is basically a bunch of like famous street food area coming to the food court. Years ago, we'll be like, oh, then now you want to eat some Thai food? Like, ah, oh, it's too many choices. Sushi. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Anyhow, so uh, it, it's great because they display all the food, so then you can just see what they're like serving, and it's it's pretty cool. The only downside is um, okay, they have a restaurant name uh -huh. and a translation, right? So it, everything seems like a generic food, but actually it's not. The translation just doesn't do it justice, unfortunately. Yes, yeah. So basically, these are all pretty well known um, street foods. They have, or, or, or at least most of it. Disclaimer. Anyhow, um, I see a KFC over there, so we're just gonna head over there. No. Come on. What? Yeah, I can't see anywhere. I think we have enough time. We gotta go to the massage place soon. So yes. do a quick walk and we come back. Hey you guys, we're just heading over to Healthland right now. There's Tony. It's like a friendly uh -huh. massage place. They're one of the first who started it. Okay. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's a little bit more standardized and a little cleaner. Yeah. According to my relative. We can probably get one for cheaper. So we're doing an hour and a half for like 1100 baht per person. Uh huh. On a pricier side, but you know, at least it's you know standardized and everything. Yeah, we both had a good experience there. We're doing not... a aromatherapy massage. Because they feel like a massage, you know, people are revving. Uh, yeah, we're not, Honestly, we're not all it, it, about it's, that. It's very interactive. slippers to wear. They're actually pretty comfortable. I'm not gonna film this part. No, no. So um, uh, we will see you guys in a bit. Okay, thank you. They brought us tea. Coconut. It has a coconut aroma to it. So they after the thought, they get come sit out, have some tea, relax, and then they bring your shoes back. I guess I'm so relaxed. So relaxed. Are you relaxed? Yeah, it's good. I like the massage. Mm. It was really good. It's really relaxing. Like every inch of my body is relaxed. <laughs> we just made it inside Terminal 21. We are going to go shopping. In, in, in the way, they would put like a lock on. Yes. And it makes you want to go in even more. I know, right? <laughs> It's like I want to go in. What do you think it is? Yeah, it looks interesting. Yeah, it's very unique. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Oh, yeah. I wonder where they are. It's free. 
It's free. It's free, free. This is two stores. Like one for shoes and one for clothing. And the guy was just on the other side. How do you like it? Like it's it? very unique, but not like too different unique. Yeah, it's very different from what I would normally do. I know, right? Imagine like we come back from vacation and you look at this t-shirt and you're like... Oh, why did I buy it? It's supposed to be like a baggy style. It's supposed to be baggy? Do you like the print? Do you like the whole thing? It's just not you. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just... Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, let's look at this. It's this cute. One, look, okay, this but... one spark joy uh -huh. for me. <laughs> okay. You wear. I don't know. It doesn't. Just do it. Like Charlie Just... Do it. I decided to get this T-shirt. Worry less, smile more. It's because I don't really follow it in my own life. Tony's deciding to. Oh, he's changing. <laughs> it looks good on you. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, especially with the pants that you're on. Because these are the T-shirts that they have on display. Okay, so if you buy more, then it's cheaper. Okay, so he's gonna hold all the bags. Such a gentleman. Oh, wait. <laughs> you left me. <laughs> you guys, we are currently at a bookstore right now, and I just found the the Yaoi, the Yao section. What did he say? Which is pretty interesting, and only in Asia would you find a section just for that. <laughs> So Tony just bought a couple books. Yeah, like the really cool things is uh, the books are translated to Thai. There's a lot of like uh, Japanese books and like Korean books. A lot of local country books are uh -huh. translated to Thai. So you get to read those books and then they're also much cheaper in English. And some of these books never going to get translated to English. So you get to see like a bunch of new authors, mm -hmm. a bunch of new topics. That's so really interesting. Last time we were in Bangkok, they usually wrap the coverings in plastic. You know, Korea does it, but no one, nobody else does it. Oh, I thought you said it was banned or... No, plastic bag is technically banned. Kinyo Kunya is um, the bookstore that Tony and I used to go to. Yeah, the food book cover for you. We decided on what we want to eat tonight. Ta-da! Moss Burger. We always see these on the anime. Yes. So I thought we would try it. We're just looking at the menu. We should try the vacuum sheet there. Can we cut it? Yeah, this one looks kind of interesting. The Ujiyama pork burger. The mayo is on your face. Mm -hmm. Okay, the mayo, cabbage, shrimp, it tastes so good. This one is a wagyu burger. So, lettuce, uh, beef wagyu, and cheese. And I think that's gravy. Yeah, some like mushroom gravy sauce. Mm -hmm. It's good, but this can blow my mind good. But shrimp's better? Yeah. Just finished eating. How do you rate it, Tony? Honestly, I didn't have high expectations. The shrimp burger is so good. Yeah. The other two beef burger and pork is good, yeah. but it's like, it's okay. It's the like shrimp burger, no. So oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. The shrimp burger. Uh, yes. Yes, the, the shrimp burger. The shrimp burger. <laughs> okay. You guys, this is what we're going to have for dessert. These are the different types of croissants that they have. What I'm interested in is the croffle. The half croissant, half waffle. And these are the selections. Sunny and I are gonna try this as well. The snowy custard lava. Looks pretty interesting. The croffle got you were sold out. They only have this left. Oh, I see. Yes, do you want any? Nearing the day. Yeah, sure. You want it, like, my five, get one free. You want to take some for home? Sure. It's nearing the end of the day, so I guess these are the only ones that they have on sale right now, which is understandable. So Tony and I are gonna get the almond. Almond croissant. macaron. Almond macaron. I got our tiramisu. The snowy lava custard and the tiramisu. Uh, uh, snowy custard. And a few more stuff. Got the goods. Can't wait to try it. Do you guys see how many people there are? Jeez. 
is our train. It just arrived and it closed. It's leaving without us right now. Yeah, no. When it's still arrives, it means it hasn't passed that yet. Oh. You see what I mean? Yeah. Usually you would assume that you already passed the dark blue one. Yes. But no, the dark blue one is the way you're going. These are all the people that are waiting in line as well. It's not as bad as the last time we were at the subway station. Well, last time we were at like, uh, when everyone's getting off school, all the prep schools and stuff like that, and we on the really busy station, which is that's the Yam station. That's the epitome of like busy. You want to go to prep school there, office building around the area, the mall. The rush hour in the Yam is not. You want to know why that is it's too much. Yam station. We're actually going to make a pit stop over at 7 Eleven because uh, we've been meaning to get some SIM cards. All passengers are requesting to declare your belongings. Thank you for cooperation. This feels like an airport. So many stairs. I know this area very well, <laughs> but we're going to 7-Eleven, so we're going to turn, don't, don't tell me, turn, Somewhere. which way do we go? I, I know this, uh, it's a, it's a, this way, this way, this way, oh shit. We're gonna get, um, what are we getting? We get some shaver. Yeah, shaver for Tony. We're gonna be going to a wedding this weekend, and Tony's gotta be clean shaven, he can't be. All subly. A lot of people take photos here, which is pretty cool. So this is a tunnel. It's underground, air like conditioned. Like a bomb, bomb shelter feel. Yes, yeah, like a bomb shelter feel. It just keeps going and going. Finally got the SIM card. Interesting that they need your passport for that. You need like a Thai identification. Uh huh. You know that you need passport. So we got the SIM card. We also got a shaver. We're gonna head home. We are home now. I am so exhausted. I want to talk to you guys about like the difficulties of filming in public. Oh, sorry. Tony's just checking up on me. So it's hard to kind of talk on the fly and try to explain what I'm doing. It's gonna take some time and it is frustrating for me to not be able to get it right away. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna try my best and each day I'm hoping I'll be a bit better at vlogging. I know it's a bit serious tone after everything that I've vlogged so far, but I just wanna get this off my chest and just try to be as genuine as I can be. I wanna end this video off on a good note and we're gonna try the croissants that we bought. What do you say? I can see people. They're eating dinner. Oh, it's recording by the way. Oh. Hope you guys can see. We're only gonna eat three. Okay. Are you always lying? Just because it's like late at night. So we shouldn't eat it all. We'll eat it all, but we'll just eat it gradually. No, if it's late at night, then we shouldn't eat it at all. What did he say? Oh. Good one of each. We got the. Oh yeah. Now we can see green tea, Milo, strawberry. I think these ones are stuffed. Mm -hmm. Vanilla cream, macaron something. And uh, tiramisu. Let's just try the tiramisu first. Do you like tiramisu? I love tiramisu. Hey guys, here you go. Boy, that's how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you like? Okay. It's like an espresso cream film. Mm -hmm. It's quite light too. I like it. So the next one that we have, this is what it looks like. I think this one's really good. I have high hopes for this one. Mm, it's good. This is my favorite so far. Oh, oh. Whoa, you got a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Next one, um, I want to try this red one. Is it red? The strawberry, yeah. It looks interesting. Let me give you guys a closer look. This is strawberry. Okay. Take a bite. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Good. This is my favorite. Here, keep changing. Mmm. It tastes like a cream-filled donut. 
You know those powdered uh, raspberry filled donuts? Mm. Yeah, all right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. First, favorite, second, th no, no, no. First, second, third. But they're all really good. Well, I would be happy with either one of them. I like that it's actually like fill fill. You know how in, in, in America guys, like when you fill it's like just a little bit. <laughs> Coming up. In Bangkok, like all the restaurants, it's all about image. So if they like are skimping on the filling, word will go around and it's just not going to survive. Because the competition is just so fierce here. You want to taste the strawberry one? Yes, I will. Mm. This is so amazing. I love it. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, gripped though. I was like a strawberry cream. Mmm. Very messy. Mm -hmm. I didn't get any of the cream filled. Can I have some of that? Mm. I'm glad I got a plate. It's really messy. Mm -hmm. Good call. Good call. Mm. So you guys, we're just going to end the vlog here. I wanted to end it with eating the desserts, which we did. What do you rate it? It was good. I wish we tried it out. Croffle? I know. Yeah. It was nearing the end of the day, so all the croffles were gone. But maybe for our next video, we can uh, grab some. So thank you so much, you guys, for sticking with us and watching us through this entire day here in Bangkok. <laughs> was there something on my face? God. Okay. <laughs> Please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.